Hey, this is Robert Monroe, and we got another video where I'm going to talk about random stuff. I think I've got a pretty good topic today, and that is something that I think is super important with finding success. And so the first thing I want to say is to go ahead and like this video so that this video can be seen by more people and uh, throw a comment down. And yeah, I know I'm asking you to throw a comment down before you even know what the video is about. Just say hi. I'll say hi back. But let's get into it. So I want to talk about perseverance because to me, this is the most important part of being successful. And what I really mean by that is I think perseverance is what separates people out. And there's tons of quotes about it, you know, 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. You could talk about all sorts of random ways to frame it. But at the end of the day, it comes down to showing up. If you show up, you've got a real chance at being able to be successful. And so let's talk about what that really looks like. And I think it comes down to a few different things to be able to keep going. Because here's the deal. When we're excited, it's easy to do something. So you start learning an instrument. You go, wow, this is so much fun. And you practice for a while. Maybe you practice for hours that first day. But then you're tired the next day. And you go, eh, you know what? I'm just going to take today off. And then the next day comes and you go, mm, I'll do that the next day. And then maybe you play the third day. Maybe you don't. After a while, it just becomes this, you know, random thing that you used to do way back in the day. And it's been years since you've touched a piano or whatever. So how do you stay sticking with something so that you can make that progress and you can find success? The more I think about it, it comes down to a few different key things that you have to do. I think the first is, funnily enough, lowering your expectations. So what is success when I am doing a persevering task? So let's think about instruments because that's what I know best. Maybe your version of success is I have played for 30 minutes a day. Maybe it's I played for five minutes a day. Maybe it's I touched my instrument today and I played it for some degree of time. These all are possibilities to get started. And in reality, that's the hardest part. Once you get started, it's actually pretty easy to keep going after that, but it's hard to get that motivation to begin. So that's the first key, I'd say, lowering our expectations. When we set them super high, we fail and then we give up. So if we set them lower, they're easier to meet and then we can keep going, make more progress. The second thing I was thinking about is being okay with failure. I'm going to bring up these daily videos with that. There was a Sunday like two weeks ago and it just got to be 4 or 5 p.m. And I'm like, I am not feeling it today. Like I am worn out and I took a big long nap and I still feel tired and I'm not going to take a do a video today. What I could have done is easily gone, oh, my dailies are over. I did not make my YouTube videos today. I'm done. I just need to stop and then go on to something else. And I've done that before in the past. But this time I was like, you know what? That was one time I can just get right back on it. And so we started back up on Monday. And this time I realized that was such a good idea. I just took off this Sunday too. I think that that's a really great practice. It's just being okay with not fulfilling things to the level you think you should and then revisiting it. So we've got thing number one, which is uh, being lowering our expectations. Then thing number two is being okay with making mistakes. The last thing that I really want to talk about is picking things that are really important to you and reminding yourself how important they are. So you cannot keep this level of perseverance with everything. There are things that are going to fall by the wayside. And what you have to understand is some things you just have to realize are too important to you. So for me, it's too important to have a place where I can just talk to people 
and to really interact and engage. That's why I'm making this commitment. That's why I've been doing Twitter now for over a year regularly. That's why I've been doing the Web3 and figuring out all that. I need that original music, creative expression side of things. So as this baby makes this face and tells me it's time for us to be done, I'm wishing you a really good day. And uh, we're going to have some more fun talking about stuff. And hopefully you can pick something that you can do on a daily basis or a weekly basis. And hopefully this helps. All right. Take it easy. Bye.